Hello everyone, Paul here from Foil Drive. I am answering just a few random ones that have come up on Facebook. We'll probably continue to add to these as they come around. They might help answer some questions that people have asked multiple times. Why is the performance, this guy, not travel safe? So yeah, this is 166 watt hours. I didn't write the aviation rules and regulations. For some reason they chose 160 watt hours is the legal limit that you can travel with on an aeroplane. It is just incredible bad luck that they chose 160 and not 170, because we would be able to travel with these. Uh, Paul, why did you make a battery that's six watt hours over the limit? <laughs> ah. Again, we built Gen 2 to achieve certain things, more power, more thrust, more runtime, all the cool stuff we all like. That did require us to go to a high voltage. We had to go to the 40 volt architecture to make that happen. The cells that we buy are the best cells you can get for discharge, power output, weight and size. Technically there's one cell better, but it's double the cost and it only offers a 5% improvement and I don't think anyone wants to pay even more for their batteries. So we use the best cells we can get within reason and they are a fixed size. I have no control over their watt hours. They are built in a multi-billion dollar factory and I don't get to tell them what size they make their battery. So to answer the question why this is 166 watt hours, why didn't I make it less is because I can't. It has to be this size to reach a 40 volt architecture and it's annoying, I know, but there's nothing I can do about it. But there is something we will do about it and I'll get into that in a minute. Um, can you travel with the, any of these batteries on an aeroplane? Um, no, we just went through that. They are over 160 watt hours. I'm very sorry about that. However, one of the questions here is when will we be making travel safe batteries? So there's another reason why the Gen 2s have a, two long nose cones. It's not just to fit the batteries that they are designed to fit. In this case, max power goes to this one and the slim endurance goes in this one. Sometime early, sometime in first quarter of 2024, we hope to release the travel batteries that the Gen 2 systems can use. So we are still working on it. It is not an easy thing to do. Uh, trying to find a practical way of making a travel battery that can be broken down into smaller parts so that you can travel with it. Again, it's a pain in the butt to design an engineer, but we're going to do our very best to get that sorted so that you can have your premium batteries and you're at home and you've got maximum power to weight, maximum energy density, this is it. But if you want to travel, we're going to make batteries that hopefully pull apart and can fit into the longer nose cones. They won't have as much runtime as these in their perspective nose cones, but you will at least be able to travel with them. We're hoping to have that in Q1, Q2 of next year. They will be an optional part that you can buy at any time and put them in your Gen 2 and use them. So please bear with us. It is not a trivial task to develop these batteries. It's quite difficult, but we are working on it and it will be worth the wait. Um, will the new design travel battery be compatible with the Plus? Answer to that is no. The Plus has got a very different shaped battery and the Gen 2 batteries, as you can see, are radically different in design and shape. So unfortunately, Gen 1, Gen 2 batteries do not intermix. So, sorry about that. Will my current Assist Plus battery discharger work with Gen 2 batteries? Um, Unfortunately, no, those discharges stop at a um, certain voltage. If you were to plug the 40 volt batteries into them, they will probably never work again. <laughs> um, the smoke will come out of them, the genie will leave the electronics. The only one that they will work with is the C. So um, the Slim Endurance is technically an Assist Plus battery voltage architecture. So you could use that discharger with your Slim Endurance. So that one of them will work, but please don't plug an A, B, or a D. 
um, not a mental bike, man. Power, sport, and performance will not work with the discharger. You will destroy them. Um, we are trying to find a discharger that will handle this high voltage. I don't know why, but all the manufacturers around the world that we have looked at seem to stop at a certain voltage and not go any higher. Um, we're working on making a custom discharger ourselves. It will take some time, but unfortunately, there's not a simple off the shelf, low cost solution. We're trying to find low cost solutions for people, but that one just doesn't exist, which I'm sorry about that, but we're working on something. Um, what else was there? Can I put a plug on my Gen 1 electronics box so I can use the Gen 2 removable motor? Uh, not really, no. Um, the plug that's in the Gen 2 unit is supported and housed by a large aluminium housing. It's then glued and potted and screwed into place so it's super rigid and then there's three bolts that clamp it down. None of that exists in the current Assist 1. Assist plus box to support the loads that can get put on those cables. So just, it, unfortunately that won't, that won't work. Um, I think I'm gonna leave it there. Some of these other questions we're gonna look at later in more detail, but there's some of the real quick ones. Thanks for listening. Hopefully everyone can uh, get up to speed with some of this stuff and I'll, we will continue to answer questions. Thank you.